Okay, uh, this is just going to be a documentation of a project I'm working on right now. I'm trying to recreate a PPI radar system, and I'm working on the display right now. So, right here is a 5ADP7 uh, CRT. It has a, a, a blue violet phosphor and then a long persistence green on the front. So it makes a visible trail. Uh, this is in a wooden box that has all the driving electronics. has a high voltage power supply and a focus and uh, brightness control. Right here is a video amplifier that can be used to change the brightness of the beam. And right here are two circuits that are not used right now. Uh, this originally was a composite video display, but I've converted it to a radar display. And right here is the X and Y deflection circuits. It's hard to see because I need it to be dim for the CRT, but there are four transistors there for the X and Y deflection. Re relatively simple. And then there's two centering controls right there. This is being fed by this is pretty much the whole thing right here. This circuit has a 1 hertz oscillator about, and then it has a phase shift network to create a 1 hertz a sine wave, and then a sine wave that is 90 degrees out of phase of that original one. And then it modulates a 1 kilohertz uh, sawtooth wave with those signals to create this XY pattern. So if we look on this oscilloscope, we can see the two, the, the X and Y display. So like here's the sawtooth wave for I think this is the X and then the Y. So they're just 90 degrees out of phase. And if we go to vector, we get that. So that's that. And we look over to the schematic. We see here is the 1 hertz oscillator. This creates a 1 hertz sine wave. And then this right here uh, just uh, shifts it, delays it by 90 degrees. And then there's an amplifier. And then same thing right here. After it goes through this phase shift network, it uh, has to be amplified again. And this feeds. Uh, the way it does the modulation is with uh, LEDs and photocells. Uh, I found that that was the easiest way to make a, va a variable gain amplifier. Uh, they make transconductance uh, chips like the LM3080. It's like a voltage control gain amplifier, but those are kind of expensive. And I found it was easier just to do it with uh, LEDs and photocells. So those uh, feed here. These are two amplifiers. Uh, you get a triangle wave, I'm sorry, a sawtooth wave going in, one there, one there. These have to be out of phase uh, by, not out of phase, they have to be in inverts of each other. And those come from over here. This is a uni-junction transistor oscillator. Generates a, it's about a one kilohertz uh, sawtooth wave, and then just a simple inverter right here to invert it. So basically what happens is that when this LED is on, this uh, it increases the gain of these amplifiers. So first this LED will be on, so then this will go to the output. And then when this LED is on, uh, this sawtooth wave goes to the output. And if we just let this through all the way, we'd only, we'd, it wouldn't be half the, disc the screen like this. Like it would actually be the full screen width and then rotating. So what we have to do is we have to rectify it right here and that will make it so it only displays on one half of the screen at a time. So that's just doubled for both of these. And uh, I found that germanium diodes work the best because they have a lower voltage drop. Um, and uh, these LEDs right here have to be red 
because of the lower voltage drop, so there's not very much of a line when it transfers from one LED to the other. So, as you can see, there's like, uh, there's like quadrants, you know, there's lines right here, 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 and here. That's when it's switching from one LED to the other. So like you can see it right here, like there's a little gap from where the LEDs transition from one to the other. And that's just, uh, just because the LEDs have a voltage drop across them and it has to transfer through zero before the other one will light up. So that's the whole schematic. Just a jury rigged a power supply. And now I'm going to turn on some modulation so we can see it make some patterns. Okay, well that's pretty much it. Um, I'll give a more detailed explanation about how all of this works uh, in a future video. I'm also working uh, with a little klystron right here. So I'll have a video of this working in the future. Uh, puts out about, uh, about 20 milliwatts at about uh, 10 gigahertz. And uh, 
main difficulty has just been making a receiver to work with it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, see you next time.